real men hold themselves accountable. You cannot call yourself a real man, a real man, if you do not hold yourself accountable. What you've been through in life, what you had to go through, who hurt you in the past, you have to hold yourself accountable as to why you let that person that hurt you into your life in the first place. Because the people that did you wrong, the people that hurt you, you allow those people to hurt you. You allow those people into your life. So at the end of the day, you have to be accountable for the people that you let into your life. If you don't like being around, if you don't like being around smokers, if you don't like uh, being around alcoholics, you don't like being around people that are broke. That have a poverty mindset, then stop. Then stop allowing people like that into your life. If you don't like people like that, do not allow those people into your life because you are what you attract. You attract what you allow into your life, and then all then all of a sudden you start to adapt the same habits of those folks. You start to have a poverty mindset. You start to drink more. You start to smoke more weed. You start being just like them, being broke just like them, being nobodies just like them. Don't blame it on other people as to why you're not where you need to be in your life. You are, you, you are the blame. You are to blame for why you're not leveling up. There's too many weak ass men. Roaming around this earth that are not holding themselves accountable. You allow that woman to disrespect you in your house. You knew that woman was no good for you. But you allowed her. You allowed her to disrespect you. You allowed her to take up your energy. And now you want to blame all of your issues. You want to blame all of your trauma onto that woman. You want to blame all your issues and trauma onto other people that had nothing to do with your trauma. Because at the end of the day, it is your responsibility to heal yourself, to fix yourself, to hold yourself responsible and accountable. For everything that happens to you. Every decision you make. It's your. It's your responsibility. It's your responsibility. It's your responsibility. To get your ass up out of bed. Early. And get to work. Go to the gym. It's your responsibility. To. To. Pay your bills on time. Build your credit. Pick yourself up when ain't nobody around. It's your job to believe in yourself when ain't nobody else around you to believe in you. I'm, I'm, I'm by example. I'm using myself as an example. Ain't nobody around me, bro, that believes in me like that. So you know what? I do everything I can do to believe in myself. Every day. I best, I best damn better believe in myself. I better believe in myself. And I ain't got nobody else to believe in me. I, it's my job to do so. It's my job to do so. Just like it's your job to believe in yourself when ain't nobody believing in you. You better have more faith. You better have more believing. You better believe more into yourself and what you're capable of doing. Don't be sitting around mopey and sad and depressed. As to why you, you're not where you're at in your life. As to why you're not at a certain part of your life that you think you deserve to be at. Because the reality is you haven't put in a lot of work. The reality is you're still living in the past. The reality is you're not holding yourself accountable for what went wrong in your life. You're not looking yourself in the mirror and telling yourself it's my fault. When was the last time you ever looked at yourself in the mirror and blamed yourself? Instead of blaming your boss, 
instead of, instead of blaming your, your friends, instead of blaming your family, how about you blame yourself? How about you start blaming yourself for the reason why you're not making enough money? Blame yourself for why you feel like shit. Blame yourself as to why you're unhealthy. Blame yourself as to why you're in a shitty ass neighborhood. Blame yourself as to why you still work at that job. Blame yourself. Blame yourself. Because when you blame yourself, you are living in the truth. You are living in the truth of your reality. You are embracing your reality. When you hold yourself accountable, when you hold yourself accountable, you are embracing the reality of your life. Instead of Instead of holding on to all this hatred, instead of holding on to all this unnecessary uh, pain and trauma, like ain't nobody else's fault, ain't nobody responsible for you. You 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 a grown ass man trying to cry to other people. You a grown ass man trying to trying trying to ask people to uh to so you can cry on their shoulder for support and for help. Fuck that shit. Fuck that. You a grown ass man. You ain't got no time to be to be crying on people's shoulders. You ain't got time for that. When you hold yourself accountable, you gain your power back. You gain your power back because everything falls in line. Everything else is in your court. The ball is in your court now. The ball is in your court. F all that crying, F all that, all that mopiness, all that sadness, all that complaining, all the excuses, all the excuses, F all that bro, get on your grown man shit, today, get on your grown man shit man, grow a beard, yes, grow a beard, grow some hair on your chest, You're a man now. You ain't got no time to blame people, to blame the next person. You ain't got no time to live in the past and, and still hold on to all that hatred that you have towards those people that did you wrong. F, all, F those people. Learn to forgive. Don't forgive them, but forgive yourself. Forgive so you can regain the power back. So you can revoke its power. Revoke, re re revoke its power that you have given to other people. Because you're so immature to not forgive those people that did you wrong. Because you were immature to not take your power back. When people did you dirty, when people did you dirty and they did you wrong, it was for a reason. It was for a reason for you to learn a lesson. God was trying to teach you a lesson. All those people that did you wrong, all those bad seasons, in those bad seasons, God was trying to teach you something. But by you not forgiving, you are giving up your power. You give up accountability. Stop looking for accountability partners. Stop looking for people to hold you accountable. It can be good for a while. It can be helpful. But sooner or later, you're going to have to start Holding yourself accountable for everything that you do going forward when it comes to addictions, the people you choose to hang out with, how you spend your how you spend your time, your health, everything, etc. At the end of the day, as a man, as a real man, see real men hold themselves accountable. Don't you ever forget that, bro. Real men hold themselves accountable. Always, no matter what the circumstance is. I'm out.